It's a buzzword we've been talking about for a long time, personalization and hyper-personalization. You'll hear us talk about it, you'll hear our competitors talk about it. But what nobody talks about is how really hard that is to do, how difficult it is to do with artificial intelligence that actually means something to the end consumer. We at Capillary believe that it's not about flooding your inbox or flooding your phone with messages or flooding you with just non-stop communications. It's about communicating with you at the right time with the right message. And that is really bloody difficult to do. However, we've cracked that code. We have our propensity models that are running 24 by seven that are based on literally billions and billions of transactions and billions and millions of customer interactions across hundreds of brands with many different verticals. So we can communicate with your consumers when they want to hear from you. That's the next step that we need to take as marketers in general, especially as loyalty marketers, for a customer that has made that leap of trust with you to say, I want to join your loyalty program, I trust you and I want to engage with you in that deeper way. And so hyper-personalization, when it matters, I think is the next challenge for us to, to solve. something that we debate back and forth all the time because especially with our bigger brands that we work with you know they are rightfully so afraid of change and they're you know very cautious and they're very conservative we're launching a massive loyalty program right now for one of the biggest CPG brands in the world. And we're starting with thousands of consumers. And this is a brand that serves hundreds of millions of customers every single day. And we're starting at a very, very small scale. And that particular example, we're talking about a year in MVP state before we move to a full production launch. And, and that's certainly a way that you can approach it. I think it really depends on the need and what type of customer experience you're trying to change. I've had brands that have implemented you know, new loyalty initiatives for one interaction that makes a huge difference in a matter of months. And you can immediately start to see those results. For example, if you simply give a call center agent a new piece of data, let's say, what was the last rating this customer ranked you with in a survey, or perhaps what is their tier level, whether that's an external or internal based tiering system, that call center agent will be able to be more personal with that member and give them a better experience. That could be simply one line of code. That could be one API call where I send that data off to the call center and all of a sudden I've created a much more powerful experience. In your more traditional loyalty program, in terms of waiting to see results, it is six plus months after you've launched it, right? And to start to see the ROI that your CFO is gonna care about. So you do have to be patient and you do have to be really pragmatic and realistic with the size of the initiative. The number one thing that you have to go into with any sort of loyalty program is you need to make sure that you're continuing to retain your top customers. The most risky thing you do when you start a new loyalty initiative is in some way you have introduced something that is not true to the brand and you start losing those top high value customers. The next thing is the rule of 10 and 25 as we talk about when we're launching new programs, which is you're looking for that growth in that top 25% of your customers. Are they buying new types of products? Are they buying new services? associated with those products? Are they simply increasing their frequency or increasing their spend? My good colleague Jim Sturm always talks about the heavy category splitters where people are spending money in multiple different places and you think you've got their full share of wallet with your brand but in fact they're spending the same amount with your competitor and so you can start to see that movement in that next 25 percent and that's something you absolutely have to look for with every single loyalty program is those changes in behavior.